today is a dandelion pesto day. That's what's happening right now. It also looks like a pawpaw day, doesn't it? Pawpaws are crazy dropping, but this fall weather, this cool damp weather brings dandelion leaves back up into the menu. I mean, they've been with us all summer, but they perk up with this cooler weather and they become a little less bitter. So what I'd like to do is feature them in the master recipe from my book, Foraging and Feasting. And it's the Wild Green Pesto Master Recipe, and we're gonna just do it with dandelion, dandelion leaves. The versatility of a master recipe, though, is that you get the basic anatomy, the basic bare bones of the recipe, and then you can play with it. So you can actually shift the wild greens to whatever pleases you that you know you can eat raw, though. So wild greens that you can eat raw can be used instead of the dandelion leaf. But why am I excited about the dandelion leaf pesto? <laughs> the dandelion leaf pesto, this leaf is a powerhouse of nutrition. So we've got an incredible mineral, vitamin rich leaf here that we're probably, that you are stepping on that's growing right outside your door. By the way, to ID the dandelion leaf, please check our YouTube channel for the dandelion leaf ID video, which is there for you. So we want to encourage, I want to encourage all of you to get out there and meet the dandelion, gather the dandelion, put that into the wild green pesto. I'm going to give you that basic recipe right now. It's a template for you to follow. And then when you get the template down, what happens is you are able to plug in all the different wild greens, different nuts or seeds of choice, different hard salty cheeses of choice. So we're going to go into the recipe. Um, one other thing to say though is the dandelion leaf, not only is it nutritious, but it is full of bitter principles that tone our liver. The leaf also has kidney supportive aspects. So we have a food medicine in our midst and I'm gonna to try to pack it into this wild green pesto. So the goal is to make an all dandelion leaf pesto and see if in fact we like it. And if we do, we have this incredible way to eat dandelion leaves and get all of that nutritious stuff from it. So let's begin with the dandelion leaf. And what you wanna do is get three cups of wild green of choice. In this case, we're using dandelion and we want to coarsely chop it. So coarsely chop, you got it. Boom, boom. And we want three packed cups of wild greens. This is dandelion today. Here we go. Coarsely chopping. If you've picked, of course, other wild greens like chickweed or violet leaf, they're usually pretty small and you don't have to chop those. So those will be ready for us when we are ready for it. The first step in making the pesto is to get a food processor and <laughs> borrow one. Use hard grating cheese, but in chunks, two ounces. So this is a Pecorino Romano sheep cheese. Do the best you can to get high quality, preferably raw, organic. Um, again, you can use other hard grating cheeses like a Parmesan and so on, but I prefer to use it in chunks and then grind those chunks because the flavor is just that much better. And so we just put this on, let it grind. And then to this, we add our half a cup of nut or seed of choice. Today's seed is sunflower seeds that I have soaked and dried. Soaked and dried makes the nut or seed more digestible. Check out again our YouTube um, channel for the nut and seed soaking and drying video so you learn all about this really simple technique, but it makes the nut and seed more digestible and actually more tasty. So you want a, a, a half a cup of nut or seed of choice and one clove of garlic. I know typical pestos have a lot more garlic, but I really want the wild greens to pop. So I'm only adding just a little small clove of garlic and my nut or seed, in this case, my sunflower seeds. Here we go. And we pulverize this to a medium coarse meal. So 
so there it is it's looking really nice and now we add <laughs> our dandelion greens oh my god some potency going in there right now a vitamin and mineral rich liver and kidney tonic pesto that's what we got going on <laughs> okay and now we pulse in the greens get them in to the mix Almost there. It's looking good. Now at this stage, this looks and smells amazing. And what we do is we add the olive oil. So I add the olive oil at the end and I'm gonna add about a half a cup of olive oil that will give me the consistency of a paste or a spread that I'm going to put onto crackers or bread or cucumber slices. If you want it to go saucy, if you want to make it looser, you're going to add more like three quarters of a cup of olive oil or even a little more. But here we go. So you're going to add olive oil to your liking. It's happening. We're on. This is ready to spread moment of truth for dandelion leaf pesto. <laughs> so, it's actually delicious, but it has that bitter edge. That's what we want. Can you handle it? Can you handle the dandelion leaf pesto? That's a question. So let's spread it and show you what that looks like. Here's some options for serving your dandelion leaf pesto. You can put it on slices of summer squash. That could also be cucumber. This is a sourdough baguette you can put it on. You can put it on a wasa cracker. That is over here, the wasa cracker, sourdough wasa. And you can even stuff the nasturtium with it just serve that and I should say also that nasturtiums are sitting on top of many of these which is a beautiful thing to find some edible flowers that you place on top and also if you feel challenged by the bitterness and you don't want it to be as bitter you can certainly dilute it so you could use half dandelion leaf half chickweed which is actually popping right now in this fall weather or violet leaf um, yeah, so you have that master recipe. Let's talk about the master recipe. If you do not eat cheese, leave it out and perhaps add some miso to your liking. So that will give it a little bit of an umami hit like a cheese. But really, I would say follow all the parts. And if you do eat cheese, stick with the cheese, the hard cheeses. And you can play with all of the different wild greens that are popping in the landscape throughout the growing season. And at this very fall moment, there's a lot that's out there for us to plug in to this. Still, I want you to experiment with that dandelion leaf, which is all over the planet. It's all over and it's free, nutritious, delicious, therapeutic food. And so this is all about bringing tastiness and nourishment into your life. May it be so. And if you've enjoyed this and you'd like more, check out my online course, Wild Food Health Boosters and Herbal Remedies at wildfoodhealthboosters.com. See you next time.